What's up guys, it's Jimmy. I'm back for another video today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a comparison of the James Charles palette versus the Elf Little Black Book palette that I got about two weeks ago. Um, been trying to get to this video for a quick minute, but life's been crazy and all that, so I'm finally getting into it. If you saw one of my previous videos, I did do the review or over the James Charles palette, but I'm gonna take it out really quick to show you guys who haven't seen it. It's a big palette, huge. Huge palette that James came out with. It was Morphe, it's still one of its best sellers. Actually, we were in Ulta today and it still sold out all those colors. So I think it has, like I said, previously 39 colors, which is really good for a palette. Uh, so I couldn't get anything um, to kind of get close to that amount of colors um, for a while. And I finally found this e.l.f. one the other day. Um, this one actually has 48 eyeshadows in it. So a little bit more but than James, but, you know, close. Uh, the most I think I found was like 20, so on the, the other brand. So, but I did get this one. So this is the e.l.f. one. Not bad. It doesn't have a lot of the similar colors that the James has. Um, it is a lot smaller. Let me see if I can pick these up. This is the James. So let's just take that out. This is the James. And this is the Elf. Really no big comparisons. I mean, you can tell. This one is immaculate. It's huge. But... You know, this one has 48. So, let's take the e.l.f. out of the box real quick. And then, when you close it, you get your little black book. All right, concept is cute on that one. And it's come with two little brushes. You can always go with brushes. You can never go wrong. You can never have too many brushes. So, I am already primed and all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on my foundation and then I'm gonna dab into maybe two or three colors that are similar on each palette. And then uh, I will go from there. So let's put on some foundation really quick. And if you guys have not yet Got you some beauty, some beauty blenders from Jeffrey and Morphe Collab. You guys are really, really missing out. These blenders are amazing. I have, I ordered some the day they came out, and I actually ordered some last week again because I just love them. Just love it. The, the it's big, the texture. It's really, really good. So I live for Jeffrey. Everybody who knows me knows I live for Jeffrey. Uh, I live for all his stuff he puts out. He, he's been doing this for quite a while. So, you know, I think everything he puts out, he really takes his time into it. And, you know, he always knows the perfect timing to come out with something. You know, he is the makeup guru, you know. He's what I aspire to be like one day. So, see, putting on the face. Doesn't take me too long. I'm really good at it now. In the beginning, it took me forever. Don't forget the neck. And if you have a little bit more, I always try to dab the ears. I want your ears to match. Now if I look down a little bit, it's because I have my mirror right here and I just want to make sure I don't look a hot mess right now on camera. Mm. Nope, don't. So, foundation is put on. Oh, before I forget, again, that was brought to you by Fenty. Everybody knows I love my Fenty products. And like I discussed in the previous video with the James Charles Morphe, uh, palette. Some of them are pressed pigments. With the pressed pigment, they ask that you use an eyelid primer. So I have two. I have a Morphe eyelid primer. And then I actually have this e.l.f. 
primer, um, eyelid primer, I cannot talk. So one side I'll do the James, one side I'll do the Elf. So let's do the Morphe. Doesn't really tell you how to put it on, just says dab it. So I'm gonna put some on one of these brushes and just dab this primer on eyelash. I'm not that good yet where I can just close my eyelash and then work on it. I see people can have one closed and they just do all their coolness. I'm not that talented just yet. Okay. Remember this primer is just for those colors to stick to your eyelid a little better since they are uh, pigmented. Oh, look at my eyelashes. Ball on. Okay. That is the Morphe. Come on, really nice. So let's do the Elf. Oh. Okay. Elf is like this. So I won't need a brush. Hopefully not. Let's see, let's close the eye. Mm, okay. Maybe I will need a brush. I just go in there. Spread that out over the eyelid. Okay. They're both clear. They're not going to do anything to you. It's just, like I said, to set everything in. So, let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna try to see which colors I can get. Maybe close enough together. Maybe a blue or a brown or, you know. If you look at James, James has a lot of bright colors. You see? And then the elf, does they have too many bright colors? Some, not too many, so, you know. Let me see, maybe a blue, maybe this blue in the corner and maybe this one. Yeah, that looks like that may work. So let me see here. Let me, oh, I look a little lost, but I have everything around me. So um, wet your, you can always wet your brush. A lot of people like to wear it to eyeshadow brush. A lot of people don't, it's your, you know, it's up to you. I always see, you know, of course, Jeffrey and everybody looks like they always wet their brush to put it on. So, I'm gonna dab in there. Ooh. A little scared. That's really bright. But let's see. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is really, really, really bright. I'm a little scared right now, to be honest. I'm not the best person at putting eyeshadow, so don't come for me. Obviously, I'm the worst. <laughs> Just gonna even that out. It's okay, because we're gonna blend it out in a minute. All right, there we go. I'm gonna get where it needs to be over the eyeshadow. All right. I don't, I haven't heard you have to put this on a certain way. Like a circular motion, nothing like that. And you just put it on. You dab it on there. Oh. Okay. That is bright. Get the corner right there, the edge. If I can get it, my eyelash will go down. That's bright. I'm not mad at it, though.
That's really pretty. It's pretty. It's bright. It's pretty. I don't see any fallout of any sort. All right. All right, James. So let's do the same over here. Let's wait. This little brush here. I got a better one. All right. Same thing over here. We're going to grab a blue. Not, it's not exactly the same color, but close. Probably the closest we'll get. Okay. Can you see that? The color's not as bright on here like the previous one, but it's all about how it comes out on the face. So let's see. You see that? Right there. You see, that's a whole, it's just, hmm, grab some more. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, you guys can really see the difference? Of course, they're not going to be the exact same color, but they're not bad. This one is a lot darker than the Elf. The Elf has more of a shimmer. Not bad, though. Not bad, if I say so myself, for my first time actually on camera. I've never really done this. So I thought, okay, well, what the heck? Let's do it on camera, first and foremost, before we do anything else. Because... If I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail in front of all of y'all. Because that's the only way I'm going to learn. So, let me spray these again. And let's see. What's another color we can dab into? I want something close. Maybe a brown, but I don't know how brown would work. Oh, there's a gold shimmer. So, I'm going to get a gold. Mmm. I don't know if you can really tell. Let me see. Let's try some more. I better watch out because you probably can't see much on there. Okay, there you go. All right. Let's just dab it in there. Ooh. Okay. I'm not mad. There's not, I don't really see any fallout on this one. I did see a little bit on the elf all ago, but you know, it's eyeshadow. It's going to fall out. You're going to have some. As long as it's not crazy, you'll have, you'll be fine. So let's do the same with the other brush. Of course, like a spray it. And let's see. Grab a gold. That's pretty similar. Now this elf one has quite a bit of golds on here. Looks like a lot of the colors are the same. That's gold. So let's see. Oh. Oh. All right. And I 
We'll spread this out a little bit. Look at those bags, girl. Need some mask and some sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and push it over. Give myself a little look here. I don't know what look I'm going for, but I'm gonna give myself. Let me go and do the same over here before I look crazy. Me and the boo are supposed to go out in a minute. Let's see if I can find myself a new bag. Because everybody who knows me knows I love a good bag. Whether it's a clutch or a side bag or a backpack. I like me a good bag. And recently I've had some luck to find some good deals. So, let's see here. Overall, they're not too, too bad. I do see that this one's a lot brighter. A lot more glitter and shimmer on this side. But this one's not bad. Not bad at all. The gold's not bad. The gold, I actually think, is really pretty here. Uh, let me see. One more color we'll play with. Let me do like a white. I always see people put like a white dot right there. And I'm like, oh, okay, that looks cool. I'm gonna do it too. Oh, got this. All right. Let me see. That's white. I'm a little nervous. I'm shaking right here. I'm a little nervous right here. Hmm. I don't see much of the white on here. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, okay. There you go. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that fallout right there? You see? Hmm. A little disappointed in that white right there. I don't see too much white there. Hmm. Sad. That's the white from the James Charles. Maybe a little bit of a white one here. There's kind of a cream, so I'm going to go in and dip into that cream here. Ooh. Hmm. The cream is really pretty. You see, it's right there. You see the gold, like the blue, the gold, and then the cream is right here. Blends, there's not really any fallout on that one. I'm kind of really sad about this side. Like, it's... It's there, but it's not there. If you get me. Like, got it a little lighter... It just did, that's all it did is it, it felt like it just got rid of the gold that I put on there. So I kind of, a little disappointing there. Do my eyes look stunning? Yes, bitch. Look. Am I ready to go to the Piggly Wiggly down the street? You bet I am. Um, Overall right now, this, I've used three colors. It's not bad on either side. Um, but it, let's let take a look. I'm, you know, I'm going gonna to give you the honest truth. Look at the James. You can see and all the fallout there. I didn't even touch the green today. All the fallout on the white. You know, all the fallout there. Look at the blue. If you can see that. You see? I really went through it and look at that. Ugh, not, uh, that's not okay for me. You know? And then let's look here. Which one of the ones I used? I'll look at the elf. I used this one for sure. There's not really any fallout there. And then I used this one for sure. You can tell until I went through that one. Um, other than that, there's no fallout on here on this little book, but that little one, but it stayed on the actual color. It didn't fall out anywhere over the little palette or anything like that. Um, so. Hmm. So 
So here's my review. My review, first and foremost, I love James Charles. I love what he's done with everything. I think he's an amazing person. I think the product he comes out came out with is really, really good. It's an awesome product. Maybe I need to use it some more. Overall, I do like it because it's brighter. I don't really like bright colors, but it's brighter, if you can tell. Wish I could close my eyes by one, but it's brighter. The gold, the blue was really pretty. The gold was really nice. I was really disappointed in the white that I put in there. I just feel like it's gone now. Like, it's just gone. And then let's go to the elf side. The elf isn't as bright but it has more of a shimmer which is okay i'm not mad about a shimmer a lot of people like the shimmer more than the brightness you see but if you do the comparison this one it stays there it's nice it's shiny but if you look at this one the fallout is pretty bad on this one you can it's kind of has little clumps in there Compared to this one, this one, it just stays on there and all that. Maybe because it's, you know, a pressed pigment. Uh, but this one, you can see there's little stuff that you got to kind of blend in. It's okay, though, you know. You know, I'm not mad at that. That's not a big deal breaker for me. You know, now, if it wasn't com like coming off completely, then, yeah, I'd be upset about it. But it's not. Um, the gold was really, really nice. I think it's really pretty. And then I put a little bit of the shimmer here. And it's still there. You can tell the three different colors. So the blue, the gold, and the shimmer right there. On here, you can see the blue, the gold, and I, what's supposed to be white, but I don't know where it went, to be honest. You know, I'm a little sad, a little upset about that. Um, so I guess it's really on your take. The James Charles palette does run for a little under $40, but you do get a lot. You do get a lot. To play with um so i'm not knocking that that's you know james charles a lot of people like the bright colors to play with and all that i've heard a lot of good things about it uh maybe i just need to play with it enough like i said earlier on the elf this little black book this is ten dollars i got this i know at target for ten dollars and it has 40 something shades smaller has a little mirror has this little eyeshadow brush there and it, then it came with these two for ten dollars you know which is good for ten dollars you know you get a lot for ten dollars um so i guess it really compares to how you see it um i see the good in both i see the james charles i did like the i did like the blue and the gold hated the white the white which is horrible for me I uh, Paula never touched the white one again on the elf i did like the blue as well and the gold and the shimmer so, I guess it's a tie, you know, because one, I didn't like the white here, but then I also didn't like the little bit of fallout that I had on here. So, that's the only two things I can really say on these two. I did like both of them. The colors are pretty. The packaging was really cute. James Charles is huge packaging. The little concept of the elf, the little black book, I thought is the cutest thing ever, you know. Other than that, I'm okay with both of them. I'll keep playing with both of them and all that. Um, if you guys have any comments, anything, anything else you want me to try, let me know. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go drink my Coke, my orange vanilla flavored Coke. Sponsored. Really, not really, but would be nice, right? Oh, you guys don't have to be extra with my Jeffree Star straw. Mm. So good. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. Have a good one. Remember, like, subscribe, and share my page. Bye.